I'm not really a football kind of guy, but you can't live in Liverpool and not be affected by Hillsborough. 27 years ago, 96 people were killed at a football match. I just want to say justice for the 96. got to drop my phone off. I'm going to check my Apple. Possibly switch to an Android for a bit. I look weird. That's better. Yeah, time's just really, really quiet today. It's very eerie. It's kind of weird. Okay. Welcome to Shed Talk with Pete. I'm I'm Pete. Okay. Oh god, I just realised that I'm doing a classic YouTube unboxing video. Whoops. <sighs> well, I'm um, can do. I'm excited because This is my new mic. I was very tempted to get one before, but I mean, look at that. That does, uh, that looks terrible. It's an iPhone with a old gray dead hamster hanging off the end of it. But, well, I look silly anyway, so I might as well just keep looking silly. Whee! So the new mic seems to sound pretty good. Apparently this episode is sponsored by some biscuit product. <sighs> Let's just go over here. Yeah, so looking at buying a new swimming fitness tracker, I'm, I'm very, very tempted. I mean, I've got an Apple Watch, but my Apple Watch doesn't do swimming, so I take it off every time I go in the pool. I swim, count to 100 laps, and get out. And that's great, but... I know I'm stronger and fitter and faster now, but I kind of want to see the data. And the Move um, tracks your swimming and it knows what type of style you were doing, whether you were doing the, the frog stroke or the splashy splashy stroke. Um, those are the official names I've checked with the speedo themselves. And it, it knows that, it's just clever and it just knows then it gives you tips on how to get better, and I like all that, that sounds really great. Then nothing really does anything with the data, that's the real problem with Fitbit, with with fitness trackers and stuff, nothing's doing, any, no one's doing anything with the data, apart from maybe this move company. So I'm, I'm quite tempted, very, very tempted indeed. <laughs> It's like there's a bunch of electrical mice in there. This is. I hope there's not something wrong with my audio part or my new fluffy dead hamster thing. Uh. Didn't expect to be going on a swagway in the evening, so. Yep, that was cool. Tomorrow I don't have any real plans, so I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Night YouTube.